It's going to be a wild and woolly day, so stick with me on this video as we work to fight to protect one of Canada's most endangered bird species. I'm talking about the Northern Spotted Owl, and it's right here in the Spuzzum Valley that the last known breeding pair of spotted owls still exists. That pair has produced chicks for two years. That's why I'm here in the Spuzzum Valley, but I'm also here because the BC government has approved logging of some of the last spotted owl habitat in the province some beautiful old growth forest. That's why we're here to document that and to get it stopped. Last year, the Wilderness Committee teamed up with EcoJustice. EcoJustice litigates on behalf of the environment. On a, and on behalf of us at the Wilderness Committee, EcoJustice sent a letter to the Federal Minister of Environment. The Federal Minister of Environment is responsible for endangered species right across the country because Canada has a species at risk law. Now, one of the issues is the provinces have the power on the landscape, so it's difficult for the federal minister uh, to uh, force uh, the protection of endangered species. That's a problem for endangered species. However, when provinces fail to act, when they drag their feet, the law says the federal minister can recommend to cabinet that the federal cabinet take action, take over as it were, for the protection of that species. And clearly in the case of the spotted owl, we are at such dire low numbers, the time has more than come for the federal government to take action. So last year, uh, Wilderness Committee with EcoJustice have demanded that the federal uh, environment minister cause a recovery plan uh, to be completed with all the habitat of the spotted owl mapped out, out, that would be old growth forest in southwestern BC, and that that recovery plan be put into action. Well, a year has passed and that hasn't happened yet, though the federal uh, government is working on it, the uh, uh, Canadian Wildlife Service. So that's moving along. But then it became apparent that we were down to one last breeding pair, and that breeding pair of northern spotted owls is here in the Spuzzum Valley. So what's happening in the Spuzzum Valley? Well, that's why I'm here today. What's happening is precious old growth forest spotted owl habitat is being logged right now. And it's being logged under permit from the provincial government of British Columbia. It's being, uh, the cut blocks were laid out in the roads by BC timber sales which is a wholly owned agency of the government of British Columbia. So once again, we've written to the Federal Minister of Environment, the Honorable Jonathan Wilkinson, and we're demanding that the minister recommend to the federal cabinet that an emergency order be issued for Spuzzum Valley, and that that order shut down all logging in Spuzzum Valley because we have our last remaining breeding pair of spotted owls right here in the valley. The last two years they've produced chicks. This is the hope, the faint hope, of bringing this species uh, back from the brink. We have to protect the habitat, but we also have to ensure that spotted owls on the landscape don't disappear completely. I'm asking you to do two things today. I provided a link in this video for you to be able to write the Honorable Jonathan Wilkinson, Minister of Environment and Climate Change, and ask that the minister recommend to the federal cabinet that a emergency order be put in place for the Spuzzum Valley to stop the logging there. We've already asked that at the Wilderness Committee and EcoJustice. Now we want to see many, many letters coming in from our supporters demanding the same thing. We need the federal minister to push the cabinet into taking action to end logging here in the Spuzzum Valley. 
The second thing I'm asking you today is, if you're able to, we would really appreciate a donation at the Wilderness Committee. It helps to make our work possible to get out on the land, to push hard to get the logging here stopped in Spuzzin Valley, but also for the rest of the spotted owl's old growth forest habitat in southwestern BC to be protected. Any little bit helps, any donation helps, because many, many people support the Wilderness Committee and all together, it makes a huge, huge difference. Thank you.